All right, guys, so now let's go about creating a reflector catch light. Now, a reflector catch light is actually going to be the catch light that we want to use for this image because the image was lit with a reflector. So we want to match the catch light to the type of light source that was used in the shot. So let's do that now. Reflectors are going to be a little bit different than, uh, than a flash catch light because it's not going to be as hard. So let's go back to our eye enhanced no catch light snapshot. And I'm going to remove my left panel. And let's zoom into the eyes and let's create our brush now. So let's go and hit K to bring up our brushes. We're going to start by selecting this flash catch light brush that we created in the last tutorial and we're going to modify a little bit. This time we're going to pull the exposure down to 2. We're going to leave brightness where it is, we'll leave contrast, and then saturation we're going to go down to negative 50. And then with clarity and sharpness we'll leave it where it's at. Um, I also want to probably pull up the feather a little bit just because this is a softer light source we want it to feather just a little bit more. We're going to save the setting as our reflector catch light. And then we'll modify once we actually apply it to our image. We'll call it catch light brush. All right. So now let's draw it in. Again, the light source is coming from uh, top left, uh, kind of 45 degrees out the camera. We can see the shadow under the nose falling off on this side of the face. So we're going to put the catch light up towards the left side of the iris and pupil. And we're going to draw it in. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that. I'm going to draw it in, and then we'll modify as we go. So I'm going to draw in kind of an oval shape because it is a reflector, but then we're going to kind of make some imperfections in that shape to make it very convincing. So let's draw it in about the same place in both irises. All right, now let's start to kind of perfect that, that shape. We'll in, make imperfections actually to make it look like it's real and perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt. And let's say that because the light source is coming from top to bottom, the eyelid itself is actually cutting off a little bit of that light. So we're going to shave off just a little bit of the top of this uh, reflector. I'm also going to go around the edges and just make it maybe a little bit less ovally. Uh, notice that on my eraser, my feathering is turned down. So I'm making it a little bit sharper. The edges are just becoming a little more sharp overall. And then on this side, we're going to shrink it, kind of make it a little more ovally again on this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some little areas where it looks like the, the reflector is kind of being bent and maybe not held quite right. Well, not it's held right, but you can basically see the uh, lighting assistant's head and arm or something like that. So we'll add a little head here just by kind of making it pop right into that catch light. We'll add maybe like a little hand by shrinking this down, just kind of adding a little bit of imperfections into this uh, the shape of the catch light. All right, we'll call that about right right there. We'll shave off a little bit more of that top piece, make it a little bit more round on this side. And that's great. Now what we're going to do is go over to this right side, and we're going to kind of mimic that effect. But remember, the light is coming from the left side. So you're going to see more of this kind of shaving. So let's say the, the, nose isn't, the bridge of the nose isn't very uh, protruding because this is an Asian model. But if the bridge of the nose were coming out, then it would actually shave off part of the reflector in the front. So we're going to actually shave off a little bit but you kind of want to shave off more depending on how far uh, the bridge of the nose is coming out. So we'll shave off the tiny bit there. We're going to do kind of a very similar thing on this side where we're going to add in that photographer's head. And we'll make it be a little bit different because, again, the angle is slightly different on this side. So it's going to have a little bit of a different look to it. So we'll do that, and then we're going to kind of subtract from this part. Again, I'm going to have more of the, eye, uh, the eyelid actually blocking the uh, the the uh, catch light on that side. And we'll call that good about there. I'm going to zoom out. And let's take a look at what that looks like. We're going to now reduce the overall exposure effect so it's just a little bit more subtle and soft. We'll go up to about 1.4. I'm going to zoom in, just kind of clean up just this little bottom piece right here. I think it looks a little bit too. There we go. And I think we'll add a little bit more right there. I'm sorry, subtract a little bit more out of these. OK, let's zoom out. And now we're going to hit K to remove our brushes. And let's take a look. Now it looks like we have a very convincing reflector uh, catch light in her eye. So let's save this as a new catch light, or as a new snapshot, sorry. We'll call this reflector catch light. And let's compare. So here we have our reflector catch light. Here we have our flash catch light. And here we have the regular no catch light. So you guys can see how big of a difference these catch light makes, and uh, and you know 
using the same technique, I can create a catch light from a complex window source, a uh, light source from, you know, whatever you guys want. You just kind of draw in, bring your little graphic art side into this and create these catch lights that can really make your eyes pop, bring out the detail and just really enhance the overall look of the, your subject's eyes and your images. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed.